Let's look at graphic design now. And here's a couple examples of all different kind of graphics that are on a presentation. So what I would like to say for the graphic design is, let's look quickly at some example points. You know, these are just guidelines, not really a rule, but more a rule of thumb, something you can kind of follow to keep it simple. One thing to keep in mind is that when you make your slides, people will tend to look at it from the top corner down to the bottom right corner. So from the top left to the bottom right. So what does this mean? This means your important information should go up top left and then flow to the right or down to the bottom. If you have something very important and it's down here at the bottom, people may miss it or not notice it. Let's look at a pie chart. A pie chart's a great little way to present information because it's very clear. People understand it easily. Use very easy to see colors, but not too bright. You don't wanna have bright reds and bright yellows. And the reason for that is it may look good on your computer screen, but when you show it on the screen for the LCD projector, it may not be very clear especially when you're putting words and colors together. You need to be conservative. So try to use more darker, solid colors rather than bright neon, bright yellows or bright reds or bright greens. They can be hard to see on some projectors, even though it's perfectly clear on your computer. Line charts are very nice, but especially when you have the solid lines, that is, the information is filled in with a solid color. That makes it a little bit easier to see rather than just one thin line. Sometimes a thin line is hard for the audience to see. You probably often want to remember to include a title so people know what your figure is about. And you also want to have a key which shows what are the different colors represent. It would be nice to have your percentage numbers or values or means or standard deviations clearly visible so that the audience can tell quickly what those values are. That's much better than just having a chart with no numbers. So these all look very good. On the other hand, these down here are no good, NG. And the reason they're NG is because they're too fancy, they're too cute. They're trying to do something that uh, looks good, I guess, looks fun, but does not make information clear. So, you know, cute things like a line chart and then you have figures or cartoon characters showing things like going up and going down, you see. So here, for example, going up and then crashing down. Oh, that's so terrible, right? Or here, our business of selling coffee is going up. The coffee cups are getting bigger. Or here, our business of hamburgers is peaking last month but declining this month. Well, again, the problem here is what's the number? What's the number here? Is it 10? Is this 9? Is this 8? Or is this something else? What is this? And the same is true for 3D graphics. Try to avoid 3D graphics because 3D graphics make things hard to understand. Is this the same or is this different? Is this the same or different? We can't tell because the 3D is changing the way it looks. And in fact, you should always be careful when you watch someone's presentation. If they use 3D graphics, are they trying to hide something? Are they trying to make something look better than it is? Because that's what 3D does. It twists around so you cannot see clearly the value. So it's best to stay with 2D. 2D keeps it very simple. 2D is the best and very clear.